Hi, today I want to give you a short review of this cool watch. It's a smartwatch that I just bought on uh, Amazon. Finally, I found a watch that is big enough so I can see uh, what's on the watch. Before I was like, my wife has this watch that is really, really narrow. I really can't see anything on it. So it was just driving me nuts. And so I just gave it away. Uh, this is finally the first watch that is smartwatch. And most importantly, it is uh, water resistant. It's IP68. I actually, I took it uh, for the test when I was paddleboarding and I went uh, also kiteboarding with it and it held pretty good. I got no problems with it. I was on the water for a good minute or so. So uh, looks like you can really remove this watch. So uh, let me give you a couple of close-ups. Uh, it's a GPS watch and you have a bunch of cool options. Right here, you check your blood pressure right here uh, beats per minute and all you have to do is just slide the finger then here you get your oxygen level uh, you can uh, connect your music and then right here you have more stuff hold on and you go right here and you get uh, brightness so when you're outside you want to probably have it all the way up uh, you can have a night mode uh, this, I guess, looks... Uh, this is a flashlight. Here we have different sports that you can uh, track. Walk, run, cycling, climb, yoga, basketball, football, badminton, skipping, and swimming. I was using swimming last time. Uh, and right here we have breathing technique. I don't use that really. I just wanted to have something that I can uh, track my fitness routine while I'm in water so I use that swimming option you have a stopwatch uh, then find your phone screen sleep I like 15 seconds uh, watch face you can change different uh, faces I haven't downloaded anything uh, different than that yet I like this one it's nice and big uh, reset and power off I've had it on for probably more than a week and then I turned it off for a bit. It's still 100% so I'm really impressed with the power. Uh, consumption is very very low. The rubber uh, bracelet looks like it's not but it actually it is and it is very good quality. I really like it and this part you can easily detach it just in case you need to replace uh, the band so you can remove it put it back on and it just snaps in okay on the bottom you have a sensor like any other watch and it looks pretty good on my wrist so this is how it looks on my wrist and finally because i'm close to 50 and i wear glasses when i'm outside i cannot wear my reading glasses and regular glasses now i can see actually what I'm doing and I can check the time uh, you can sync it with your phone it's a smartphone and uh, it also has GPS enabling option so you can easily clearly see the time and you can access any other options with no problem it looks cool on my hand and it's big enough that finally I can see it it's not like one of those like I said uh, tiny uh, watches for the uh, for the kids uh, so I really like that watch. It's the first uh, smartwatch that was kind of on the budget that I actually like. So uh, I'm gonna keep it for a long time. See right now, 70 beats per minute. Uh, it's a cool watch and I highly recommend it. Okay, I'll give you a link on the bottom of my video. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.